How's it going, people? Doing fucking awesome. Time for a little more of this. But first, I think I need a little Angry Orchard hard cider. Ah, oh, that helps. All right, let's do this. Section 91 of the DNC. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet. He's channeling here at Kirtland, Ohio. March 9th, 1833. The prophet was at this time engaged in the study of the ancient writings regarding regarded by some as scripture and known distinctively as the Apocrypha. Oh really? Yeah, he would like the Apocrypha. As a matter of fact, they speculated while I was reading the BOM that he was fond of the Apocrypha. And I believe in the last section here, yeah, he was talking about look at all good Lee books. Uh, Apocrypha. Yeah. Mm. And let's see. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like uh, that. That. And of course, they're in this, and I got a copy of the New Jerusalem that has them too. It's a Catholic Bible, and Midrash reader. Yeah, all very interesting, especially the Talmud. Oh, and uh, there's some real fun stuff in this, like the Book of Adam and Eve and Tobit. You know, with Asmodeus or Asmodeus, how do you pronounce it? Anyway, back on topic. Went off the rails there for a second. Uh, I got some more stuff there, but that's chiefly it. These writings not to be accepted as scripture. Enlightenment of the spirit. Requisite to discernment of the truth contained in these books. So they got truth. It is not scripture, but the BOM is, and so is this. Being ancient works as himself. All right, one. Verily, thus saith the Lord unto you concerning the Apocrypha. There are many things contained therein that are true. Like the Book of Tobit, <laughs> the Book of Nicodemus, yeah. Uh, all those additions to Daniel, which actually would have been a good Columbo episode. Not the one where he kills that dragon, but, you know, the one where he, like, finds out about those, those dishonest holy guys who were giving false witness. Sorry. All right. And it is mostly translated correctly. The Apocrypha. Two. There are many things contained therein that are not true. Would that be like uh, Jesus talking as an infant? No, oh, wait. That's got to be true. It's in the Quran. <laughs> which are interpolations. Yeah, he knows all about that, doesn't he? By the hands of men, the nerve of them, putting words in God and Jebus. <sighs> Three. 
Verily, I say unto you, it is not needful that the Apocrypha should be translated. What he means is retranslated. For, therefore, whoso readeth it, let him understand. For the Spirit manifesteth the truth. That's that burning in the bosom. You know what I want to know is if the Holy Spirit manifesteth the truth, how come there are what, almost 40,000 denominations of Christianity that don't even agree with each other? And a good three or four of Islam. And a couple of the Mormon religion, the LDS. They've even got divisions in them. The Holy Spirit must be malfunctioning, huh? Five. And whoso is enlightened by the Spirit shall obtain benefit therein. Six. And whoso receiveth not by the Spirit cannot be benefited. I thought they were beneficial. It gave me a laugh. <laughs> Therefore, it is not needful that it should be translated. Amen. Well, take that to the bank. Let's do another one. Because it's short also. 92. Revelation given to Enoch. Oh, in brackets, that's Joseph Smith the prophet. He's using his phony name now. His secret name. His little moniker. <laughs> At Kirtland, Ohio, March 15th, 1833. For explanation of unusual names, see heading of section 78. Commandment. Regarding admission to the United Order. Uh, one. Verily, thus saith the Lord, I give unto the United Order, organized agreeable to the commandment previously given, a revelation previously a revelation and commandment concerning my servant um, Shedder Lomack in brackets that's Frederick G. Williams that ye shall receive him into the order he's got his own secret name now so you gotta. I wonder if they got magic underwear yet. I can't wait to get to that part. That I say unto one, I what I say unto one, I say unto all. Me too. Anyone listening? Two. And again, I say unto you, my servant, Shatter Lomac. Frederick G. Williams, in brackets again, in case you forgot already, a verse later. Uh, you shall be a lively member of this order. Is he that guy who has a lot of wealth and faith, faith you were looking at in the last section, you know, looking for in the last section? We need a guy that we could really use, or at least his money. Uh, and inasmuch as you are faithful in keeping all former commandments, you shall be blessed forever. Amen. And that's that for that. Fucking fascinating. I'm sure you learned a whole bunch and you'll share it. I'll probably do a little more later. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That was just so much fun. I don't know. I'm kind of satisfied now. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.